Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation. That is a mouthful. So if you want to hear my thoughts, see a demo, the whole deal, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Sometimes Ulta does these platinum perks that for like one day only you can pick something up if you're a platinum member, which I am. So they did a platinum perk for one day that you could pick up this foundation before it launches. I believe it's going to be live on the website on September 16th. So it was also buy two, get one free. And I always like to buy two shades of a foundation and then I got one free. So I ended up with three shades. Um, I have the shades Nude 200, Natural Ochre 210, and then Natural Beige 240. And picking out foundation online is just hard. Straight up, it's not easy. And I ended up with shades that do not match me. 200 and 210 are like not even, it's a joke how bad they are. So um, 240 is the one that was closest to me. I actually tried filming this video yesterday and I was doing a wear test of it, but I forgot to film an intro or an outro. So I basically put it onto my skin and I did mix it with my NYX foundation mixer to make it darker so that I would fit my skin tone. And then it ended up oxidizing and I did a few check-ins, but I never did like a final check-in. So I think I might ins insert those check-ins just so you guys can kind of get like the wear test aspect too, even though it's from yesterday. So yeah. Let's go into like the full details about this foundation. I am going to pull up the Ulta website, which I will link this foundation down below along with everything else that I'm wearing on my face right now. So this retails for $10.99 and it comes in 30 shades. The shade range looks pretty good. Let's see if you guys can see that. It looks decent, but there's definitely, the shades are, I feel like they're like a little misleading online because the lightest shades don't look that light, which is why I picked the shades that I picked, but they ended up being way lighter in person. So that was kind of a bummer for me, but it says Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation is a skincare inspired foundation that's ultra blendable, ultra buildable, and infused with antioxidants, anti-pollution, and anti-blue light ingredients. The benefits are a creamy texture that goes on like a moisturizer, then blends invisibly to even out skin tone weightlessly, keeps skin feeling moisturized all day, infused with antioxidants, anti-pollution, and anti-blue light ingredients, medium buildable coverage with a natural finish, made without oils, parabens, synthetic dyes, and fragrances, premium plump for easy application. So it's supposed to be medium to buildable coverage. I do think that it is pretty decent coverage. I mean, it covered everything that I wanted. I used it the same way that I use full coverage foundations. I do one layer and then just in this area, I built it up a little bit more. So let's hop into the demo of me applying it today. I already prepped my skin with my Dermalogica Active Moist Moisturizer and my or Origins Original Skin. This is the Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. I love both of these and I know how they wear on my skin. So nothing new there. I'm going to go in with the shade 240 Natural Beige. This is what my skin looks like with nothing else on it yet. Okay, so this is obviously too light for me, but it does oxidize. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, let it sit for a second and then I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back. Okay, so I finished up the rest of my makeup. This is what it looks like. I feel like the color ended up looking totally normal. I mean, I did put some bronzer on, but still, for how light it was, it definitely oxidized a bit and it ends up blending in nicely. I'm gonna show you guys the footage from yesterday, just the check-ins, because you'll see that I mixed a little bit of this in to make the foundation darker, and it looked good on my skin when I initially applied it, and then like 
an hour later you can see the difference in my face and my neck my neck was much lighter so it definitely oxidized a lot all right it is 11 21 why am i so bad at this 11 21 so we will see how this wears throughout the day i i don't know um it did definitely oxidize a little bit but i think everything wore on top of it really nicely so so far so good i will keep you guys updated in a little bit Hey guys, it is 1.37. This is my situation with my skin. I feel like my makeup looks pretty good. I'm definitely more dewy than I was before, but it's holding up pretty well. I'll check in again in a couple of hours. Okay friends, it is 5.01. I've been terrible at doing check-ins. I'm gonna take my glasses off so you guys can see. This is my skin. It is definitely oxidized. I do not match my neck at all. Um, but it actually looks pretty good besides that. I wish I would have known that it was gonna oxidize because then I wouldn't have mixed the darker shade in with it. I feel like maybe it actually would have worked for me a little bit better at least than it did. I don't think it would have fully worked. But yeah, this is where we're at. Five o'clock, I will check in in a little bit. All right, well, we all know that I did not check in again, so that is the only footage I have from that day. So let's get back to the day I filmed this. I think that it wore really nicely throughout the day, and I really love the packaging. I think the packaging is really, really nice. This is, it's kind of like the trendy new packaging. It's the same as the It Cosmetics. It's this squeezy tube with a pump. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I just think that this is cute. It's like really good for drugstore. I like the squeezy tube. It has a nice pump on it. So as far as packaging goes, I really, really like it. And I think that the finish is nice. It doesn't look cakey. It was definitely buildable in the in these areas where I have acne scars. I was able to build it up and get like a nice amount of foundation. And I thought that it lasted really nicely. I am pretty matte right now, but yesterday when I show you guys the footage, I'll sh it'll show you like I'm not as matte after a few hours, which is totally normal for me, but I thought that it wore really nicely. I guess I'm torn here. Like I would recommend this foundation and I think I would use it if it didn't oxidize, but it seems like it's impossible to figure out what your shade is because if you put it on your skin, you have to wait for it to oxidize to figure out what that shade's actually going to end up being like. So I... I don't know like I like it I feel like my makeup looks good today but when I first applied it I looked like a ghost like I looked like I was putting white out on my skin and and now it looks fine so I would say if you're going to get this um buy it from somewhere that will do returns and look up swatches like dried swatches online just for reference in case you use any of these in the It Cosmetics um, Matte CC Cream, I am Neutral Medium. In this Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, I am Natural 4. So those are a couple foundations that you could compare um, shades of this, and that's what I am. So I definitely should have gotten maybe a darker shade, but maybe not. I don't know, because it matches me now. I'm just confused about the shades and the oxidation situation, but other than that, I do like it. So I guess proceed with caution or buy it from somewhere that you can test it out and then return it if it's not your shade so that you can find what your shade is. I just don't think that by swatching it in the store, you're really gonna be able to figure out what your shade is. So those are my final thoughts. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.